DeepSeek just dropped a new research paper showing that the next leap in AI may not come from throwing more chips and more compute at the problem, but instead from smarter design. In order to understand their breakthrough, we have to understand how models communicate information. One of the biggest challenges in AI today is that as models get bigger, researchers want different parts of the model to share more information internally. Modern AI models are essentially stacks of layers. Each layer takes in information, transforms it slightly, and passes it on to the next one. But the deeper the stack gets, the more fragile this process becomes and information starts to decay. In order to fix this, researchers introduced ResNet, which you can think of as shortcuts through the model. Instead of each layer relying only on the layer before it, residual connections let information skip layers entirely. It's kind of like adding an express lane where important signals can stay intact as they travel through the entire model. The ResNet breakthrough made very deep models trainable and is now the default in most modern AI systems, including the GPT family and DeepMind alpha fold. But there is one limitation. One express lane often isn't enough, and when all that information is forced through a single path, different ideas begin to interfere with one another and create a bottleneck. That led researchers to explore hyperconnections, which was first proposed by ByteDance in 2024. Instead of a single narrow path, hyperconnections allow models to run multiple parallel thinking streams, with each stream carrying different information forward and therefore allows the model to combine ideas more flexibly. The issue is that this doesn't scale cleanly. When you have so many different streams, it's it's kind of like too many voices talking at once. So training becomes unstable and more streams means more memory and more compute, which makes training extremely expensive. So currently a lot of AI labs are wrestling with the question of how you make an AI model share more information internally without making it dramatically more expensive to train. DeepSeek's approach is a new training architecture called Manifold Constrained Hyperconnections or MHC. They basically add mathematical guardrails, which they call manifolds that limit how much information can mix across all these parallel streams. Using the same highway analogy, hyperconnections create a multi-lane highway, but DeepSeek's approach adds speed limits, lane dividers, and traffic rules so that these hypothetical cars or information can change lanes, but they don't cause that same pileup. The result in these models is that you have more internal communication and better reasoning without blowing up the costs. DeepSeek tested this approach on different models, ranging from small ones to pretty large ones, and found consistent performance improvements, stable training, and very little added computational overhead. This basically shows that architecture choices can squeeze more intelligence out of fewer resources, which is especially important for a company like DeepSeek, which is competing head-to-head -head with US labs like OpenAI and Google DeepMind without wanting to match their compute spending. It's also worth noting that DeepSeek often publishes foundational research and then shortly after will release a major new model. This means we might potentially see a new flagship model from them around Chinese New Year in February.